So I bought this rack on Amazon because I was curious of the quality. And the full name of it is the Sunny Health and Fitness Power Zone Squat Stand Rack Power Cage. Now with a name like that, you'd expect it to be a piece of crap. But I was pleasantly surprised. It is not bad, especially when you consider the price point, which is anywhere from 250 to 300 from what I've seen. I think I got it for around 260. Now the whole spacing, as you can see, is not amazing. It's three inch, I believe, so three inches from one center of one hole to the center of the next hole. You can check our full written review for much more detailed information and the kind of specs overall of the rack. Now the safeties you get with this are also not bad. You see they've got the rubberized kind of protector that's screwed on here to protect your bar and the safeties themselves from scuffing up. And they're pretty heavy duty. Now, if I had to criticize them, they are a little short, I would say. So they are probably best for benching only. Maybe you could dump a squat on there, maybe. Now it also has this locking feature. That is interesting, I've never seen that before. I could see that getting annoying and not being used. The J-hooks are pretty decent for an entry-level squat rack. They also have the protective screwed-on kind of coating there to protect your bar and the rack from dents and dings. And they're a decent size. And of course, the great thing about this rack is that you can buy it from Amazon, so shipping was cheap, free, and quite fast at three to five days for a heavier item like this. And that's the great thing about Amazon also is that you can return things, although it's harder to return a large item like this, but it is possible with UPS pickup. The pull-up bar was angled, and which is another great thing for an entry-level rack like this. Definitely tall enough for a person of my height, 6'2", to kind of pull from comfortably. And now on the side of the rack, it also has these resistance band posts, which are great for attaching your resistance bands to and having a firm anchor point to then do various resistance band exercises or putting them on the bar to kind of add some interesting and a different type of resistance to the workout. It also has two weight horns on the back which are in a fantastic position to kind of not only store your weights, but also to add some extra weight and then some sturdiness to the rack since you can easily add on, you know, several 45s back there and make the rack altogether much, much more sturdy, which is a great feature for these half racks, which are more prone to being unstable when compared to a full rack with four posts. So yeah, in summary, I think this is a great half rack or at this price point. And I think if you had a little bit more budget, say, you know, 100 to $150 more, then there are some better options out there that may, that can definitely hold more weight and maybe last you longer as far as the quality and just the amount of add-ons you can add to them. And the one I'm thinking about is probably the Titan half rack. You can check my website in order to kind of see more about that, or and I might also put a link in this video. But if you have a little bit more budget, that can be a great option. Now this is, for the price point, this is kind of hard to beat, especially if you don't have a lot of space. You know, you got everything you need, except that one big criticism, which is safeties are not quite long enough for me. I wouldn't want to use them for squatting, but other than that, I think it's a great, fantastic option for a affordable half rack 
or squat stand that you can get from Amazon for free shipping and you know without having to worry about not being able to return it because you can easily return even large items with Amazon. So yep, yeah, in summary, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think it's a great option.